Hello, I'm Kirby Woods. I'm in Dr. Moody's AEP 800 Fall 2011 course. I have created this tutorial video for my um, co-workers, kind of showing them how to begin to create their and manage their own wiki, and as well as I'm going to show them a sample of my wiki. As you can see, I have chosen to use wikispaces.com. I also looked at wikisforeducation.webpate.com as well as wikidot.com. I chose Wikispaces because it seems to be the most well-known and I've had a fairly easy time messing with this and being able to navigate my own way through this to create a nice wiki. Um, if you come to the Wikispaces homepage, you create your account and you sign in, I have my username password, and it brings you to the welcome page. Um, if you look up here, it says my wikis and when I open that, it shows the two wikis that I currently am a member of one for the AEP 800 class and then the one that I have created it's called Woods Lit, Lit Circle and I created my wiki to use for the literature circles that I currently have going on in my classroom so I'm going to open the Woods Lit Circle and it comes to my home page if you look over here at the navigation menu um, there are, you can you have a button excuse me there's a button for the wiki home you can create a new page you can monitor um, recent changes that other members or yourself has made. And then at the Manage Wiki here, I'll show you, um, it's kind of broke down into content, people, settings, and tools. Um, content has your pages, files you've uploaded. You can upload new files under people. You can view and invite members. Settings, you can change the way things look, and so on. And then down here at this part of the menu, these are my pages that I have created. I'm going back to the home page first. It says, Welcome to Mrs. Wood's Literature Circle Wiki. I have created an image here of a literature circle and added the caption that says, Click the image to read more about lit circles. If you click on it, it takes you out to this site that answers the question, What are literature circles? This is for teachers, parents, students to get an idea of what literature circles are and how they are used and why they are used in the classroom to benefit children's reading. Back at my home page here, I've just kind of introduced this that says this wiki will serve the purpose of online collaboration for literature circles and fourth and fifth grade guided reading as well as reading enrichment time groups. Um, this wiki can only be edited by invited members but it is viewable to the public. Um, please feel free to take the time and look around this wiki and then I have told them to contact me any questions or concerns and you can click on that link and then send me an email if you want to. I also have included a YouTube video about literature circles in the elementary classroom. It is eight minutes long. It is very interesting. These students are very engaged and very excited. There's a lot of conversation going on in various elementary schools in this video. Um, my other next page that I created is a book list page. And this is a list of books that we have read or currently are reading. And currently in my reading enrichment group, I am reading, I have three different literature circles going on because it's a very large group. I have Amazon Fever, Blackout, and Horrible Harry and the Triple Revenge. My fourth grade guided reading group is reading Space Jacked. And my fifth grade guided reading group is currently reading No Way Back. Okay, so that will be um, added to quite a bit throughout the year. The next page is Roles and Discussions. And this explains the four different roles that I use in my literature circles and also explains that all the children throughout the course of a novel will rotate through these jobs so that each one gets to experience the joy of each job. The first role that I use is the summarizer and this student will come to the wiki page and they will type in a summary of the assigned section for that particular day. Other group members will join in and they can add details to that summary, things that were missed or things that they felt were important as well. Also, the, there's a word wizard. The student in the assigned section must look for two words that are unfamiliar or interesting, and they'll just tell their group what page number and sentence from the book that the word was used in. And then they will use context clues and prior knowledge and such to define that word. Other students can come in, they can add their own new definition if they have a different idea, or they can add to some of the definitions that are already there. The discussion leader is required to create two questions based on the assigned section. Um, the questions must be interesting and open-ended so that each member of the group can come in and provide their own answer from their point of view. The final role is the real-life connector, and this person from the assigned section for the day 
must choose two events that remind them of something that's happened to them or someone they know, and they're going to connect that to their real life and using as much detail as possible. The other members of their literature circle will come in and pick one of those events and connect it to their own life or somebody's life that they know as well. Um, I have also included on this page downloadable copies of each of the roles. So if a teacher would want to come in, they can click on one and they can get a PDF that they can print out for each of those roles. It explains their job. Um, let me try to X this out here. Okay. So there is one for each role, the summarizer, word wizard, discussion leader, and connector. And then there's also a little literature circle image at the bottom. And I have my little word wizard up here too. He's kind of funny. Okay. The next page I created is the actual literature circle discussions. It says click on the image of the book you are currently reading to participate in the wiki for your literature circle group. So this is where my students will use this wiki. So they'll come in and they'll find the book that they are reading and when they click on it, it'll take them to their wiki page. And this is the one for Amazon Fever and for the first day I have assigned the roles. And then the next day they'll come in and they'll see their new roles and so on. So like for example, Brianna is my summarizer, so for the, like they've read chapters one and two the first day, she will come to this wiki page and she will type, she will title it summary by Brianna, and then give her five to seven sentence summary, and each of them will go to this page and they'll each do their own job, and then when they're done with their job, they can look at each other's posts and make those changes that um, they've been asked to do or additions, and like I said, I do have that for each of the books where the students can come in, click on their book, and see their assigned roles for the day. So back on my home page, I'm going to kind of show you some of the ins and outs of getting your own wiki started. Um, like I said over here, anytime you want to add a new page to your wiki, you just click the new page link. Um, you name it, I'm just going to name this new, create, and here's your new page, and you can start typing, like if you want to type your title, um, to change the title, you just would highlight it. If you click on this T with a painting palette there, it kind of gives you all the things that you can change. The font, you can make the size smaller or bigger, you can change the color of your text, um, background color if you want to align your title, and then after you change all that, you just say apply the styles, and then now my title is in the is centered and it's colored like I want it. Um, if you want to add links, you just click the link. You can do a link within your wiki where you can jump from page to page or an external link that jumps out like, to another website. Um, and then you can always do an anchor, an anchor link. Um, you can, there is also the option, which I'd like to point out, to open your new link in a new window if you want to. I'm going to cancel that. Um, if you want to upload a file, um, you can insert files. Um, that are like on, saved on your own computer. If they're on your desktop, you use this insert files. Or if it's like an external image from the web, you would put the address for the external image here and load it. Um, after you have loaded a new file, you just double click that file when it pops up here and it puts it there on your page. Um, after you've made all your changes, additions, you just save it. And then here's my new page and there's the file I uploaded. Um, if I now I have this new page, say I want to go back in and add or change something else, you use the edit button up here, click edit, and I can make any of those changes. Um, I'll say I want to delete this page. So to delete it, I would just go to my manage wiki option over here. Under content, click on pages. And here's a list of all my pages. Um, it's the new page that I just created. I can just click this little box over here and then up here say delete. And now it's gone. I also want to point out something that I had to kind of Google search to figure out. Um, they kind of automatically put their own navigation bar in here and every page you add appears here. But like for me on my literature circle discussions page, I when I linked out to like these pages, I didn't want these pages all included here because my list would get really long. So if you use this edit navigation button, they had their default navigation here and I was able just to click, click on it, hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of theirs, and then I just typed in the pages that I wanted to show up here. And any pages that I don't want included over on the side, I just didn't have to include.
So that was something that I wanted to share because I had a hard time figuring it out. So that way I could manage this list to look the way I want it to and not to get really overloaded. So like my sub pages don't show up over here and that's the way I wanted it. Um, also there is the option to have like a blog discussion up here. Um, anybody that's a member can start a new blog post, give it a subject and a message. Like if I want to ask the students, um, like say I wanted to call this weekly or daily progress. They want to call it daily progress. Tell me how you are enjoying whoops are enjoying your books so far. Say so I just want a little bit of discussion. I want a little bit of feedback. Currently how they're doing. Um, the students that are members they can just come in and they can click on that and then they can give me a little reply. I am loving this book. Let's hope that that's true for all of them. And then they post and then I can come back in and it will tell me which student posted what. So I can just, I, I'm going to use that just for just some progress feedback as we go through. Um, there's also a history tab which shows me things that have happened to date. Um, and notify me where you can edit your notifications. If you want to be emailed every time somebody edits it, um, you can ask to do that. I don't want to be emailed with every little edit because I'm going to be checking this daily, so I will see all the edits. So um, those are just some things that you can manage. And I also don't need that email because I can just go right over here to this recent changes and I can see everything that was done. Like I just made these, the, these two posts, excuse me, it shows the page that I created, the page that I deleted, and those are all today, and then everything that I did yesterday, or um, people that joined my circle. So I can see all these changes over here. Um, I'm going to go back to my home page. So hopefully I have given you a place to start, and that everybody else will get excited about creating a wiki. I hope um, if you would like to be a member of my wiki, just let me know. I'd be glad to invite you and get you set up. And you can just kind of come watch how ours is going. You can participate in discussions. And maybe you'll get excited and get ready to start your own. And I'd be glad to help you. And thank you for watching this tutorial.